All right, guys, 3.30. It's been a long day. And uh, I pretty much just, well, I have, not pretty much. I just sat in here and I stuffed my face and ate way too much. And uh, pretty much drank all my fluids. I got a sip of Gatorade left and then one liter of water left. Excuse me. Um, burned through way too much power and I'm sure I'm going to burn through more. I made a video. I tried uploading. It was going too slow. So I'm going to try to upload it again tonight. But I definitely used way too much power today. So tomorrow is definitely going to have to get on some power for that battery bank. I still have a full battery bank. And I have one and a half charges left in my battery bank, but I'm gonna use that up tonight trying to upload a video. So definitely gonna have to get, I don't know, we'll see tomorrow. I'm gonna have to grab some power though. That's uh, I've been using solar, but that's just been keeping my phone at basically where it's at because the sun's been coming in and out. But uh, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to check in with everyone. I'll see everyone in the morning when I hopefully you'll be on the road and the wind's still howling. <laughs> All right, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Sunday, January 23rd. It's uh, 8.45 in the morning. I'm actually on the move relatively early for once because of the wind or the temperatures or a combination of both. Everything was dry this morning, so I just had to shake all the sand out for the last two days. So I'm all packed up. Um, heading towards town. I'm going to uh, hopefully stay there till noon. I'd like to be I'd like to be able to stay there and get powered on noon if my uh, my craziness will let me stay still that long like that um without moving on but because my one power bank is completely dead i just got some solar on my phone my phone's up to 85 i still have a full power bank but you know how i like to use my power out here so i can never have too much power um i killed a lot of power yesterday just from not moving and then i actually finally got a video posted last night to get everyone caught up to where i'm at so it just used a lot of power uh, so i'd like to be able to get a solid but we'll see a solid two hours I would like to get on that power bank. Hopefully that'll give me two more charges. Um, and it looks like, oh, and I did this, uh, some good news. Um, I, I was watching, I like Mike's channel yesterday. He had a new video posted. He's uh, basically driving across country in his, in his new uh, modified uh, ambulance that he bought that you guys saw in my video uh, months ago. Um, but anyway, we started talking and uh, he asked me where I was at, and he, this is his old stomping ground. So uh, he gave me the route that he would walk, use if he was walking from Prim to Barstow. Completely different. Basically, you're bouncing back and forth over to 15. You're never far from the 15, just like kind of like the route that I'm taking. And it starts off on Powerline Road like I'm going. But he, uh, if I walk 20 miles a day, I'm basically, I'll never be more than three days away from a water source. So... But the problem is I'm not walking 20 miles a day. Uh, we'll see how I feel, but um, actually my heel and everything feels, you know, it's still sore, but it's uh, nowhere near as worse as it's been. So uh, we'll see. I, I don't want to say I can't do it and I don't do it. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to be taking a completely different route. The, the beginning of the route, instead of uh, Baker being my first stop, um, there's this other gas station that's only going to take two days to get to and then I go to that and then I go from that to Baker and then Baker to Barstow is a completely different route but uh, so I got some good information from uh, Mike is what I'm trying to say finish strong yeah I wish I was finishing strong I don't feel so strong I'll tell you what this uh, dirt bike track man it's been non-stop since I got here it's just it's like they're always going out there. I don't know if that's a... Like a I mean, it's got to be somewhat of a professional track or something. Because there's all... I mean, there's millions of dollars worth of RVs and stuff set up out there. All right, guys. It's uh, almost 10. Um, I'm out here in the same spot that I was at uh, the other day, two days ago. My uh, block's over there getting some power. I just spent $112 in there. <laughs> I have no clue what. Um... I'm able to fit two smart water bottles that are thinner on that side, and then my normal two uh, thicker uh, body armor bottles on this side. Um, I'm probably going to go, well, I am going to go, I'm going to get one more liter before I leave, so I'm going to step off with five liters. Uh, I didn't have to get that much food because we're coming up on a gas station in two days, and then another gas station two days after that. So I don't know what I was doing, but this had a wide choice. Sorry. I'm going to have to wrap there with me for a second. Give you a little idea what I'm working with for food here. I'm going to try to eat more calories. Um, so I got myself two candies. I don't know where the other one's at. Bought like 40s beef sticks. 
These are delicious. The tahini. I've never heard of that until I started seeing it online. Oh, I love that. Oh, man. I got a couple of chicken pouches still, some pepperoni. I mixed it up from the cliff bars just to get something different. It says 14 grams of fiber. I like the fiber. Uh, 400 packs, 400 calories per pack of these, so that's good. Actually, this is only 320. Yeah, nuts are 400. Yeah, so that's a good meal. So that's what I got. I got my a couple of cheese crackers. So this is a... Uh, this is more food than I need, but this is probably five days of food, but I'm gonna try to eat more. So I'm gonna call it at three days of food. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna try to make sure I'm getting at least 2,000 calories a day in. I just had a honey bun, I couldn't even finish it all. It's 580 calories for the frosted honey bun over there. I, I think I ate three quarters of it, so maybe 400 calories or so. I'm gonna start trying to make myself eat more. All right, guys, it's at uh, 10 after 12. I'm uh, leaving Prim now. I got about two, I got two full hours of, uh, a little more than two full hours of power. So that might get me uh, two charges on my phone for my power bank. I'm um, glad I had that fast charger because if not, it would have barely even got me one. Um, the one route had me going back seven miles where I already walked, so I didn't like that route. So I'm taking another route. It's at least got me going towards area I haven't touched yet. But Powerline Road is where we're ending up at. And then I'm gonna break off Powerline Road earlier than I originally thought because I'm going to head towards a gas station. It looks like a two-day hike. All right, you can see it's changing quickly. I'm now uh, in California, by the way, just entering California, it says. It's like I'm going to go down to come back up on the other side and then to go back down. So I, I don't know. It was a mess just getting out of there. I really have no clue. Uh, my phone was acting up, being stupid with my location and all. So I think this... But, on this route that I want to take to be on that side of the 15, which I still have to cross somehow, um, it, I was going to have to backtrack one way or another. So I guess I'm just going to go down here and then I'm basically going to go up and then over or something. It's probably a much easier way, but uh, it's not going to work for me. So California. California, baby. Well, my maps is literally going crazy. It's uh, I don't know what's going on, but I'm just walking now. I have water. I'm just going to go because this is uh, driving me nuts. <laughs> it keeps adjusting, rerouting. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just walking on the road. I'm only a mile and a half in, like extremely frustrating i don't really know what's going on i i'm supposed to be over there and now the new route's not going to take me over i don't know what's going on i'm just going to go well i'm still my head's still spinning over this map thing um but i'm heading towards power line road i guess i think part of my problem is maybe maybe i'm not supposed to be on that side i'm just thinking that it is by the way because, you know, sometimes when I look at the map and it shows me something, I think I'm here. And then when I'm looking at it that way, it's not really that way. But this, you know what I mean? I, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I'm a dumb infantry Marine. Maps have never been my strong suit. Uh, I'm just worrying that my phone's going to lose service up here. So I'm, I'm taking a bunch of screenshots of the directions. <laughs> Once I hit Powerline Road, I feel okay with all the info I got as far as... Uh, Mike's text messages, he gave me like detailed text messages and and uh, from what I can get on my map, but just to get the Powerline Road, I I really thought it was on that side, but I mean, I could be completely wrong. Um, so if my phone dies up here, I might be, or not dies, but if I uh, lose service, I have pictures, but it's, it just says like, you know, slight right and 1.6 miles. You know, I'm in the middle of the desert here, so... Um, worst case is I basically just follow Route 15 the best I can, and Baker's about, uh, 60 miles away. All right, just found my first, uh, bear right. Um, it's not marked on my map or anything, but I just spoke to a park ranger back there. Very nice guy. He said this is some kind of, I forget the name, but pipeline inspection route. He says, you know, you can walk it. Um, and he told me, yeah, uh, SEMA is the next gas station I'm shooting up after I get through this mountain pass. And then, uh, 
he says I won't pass anything till I get the baker. So yeah, pretty much right what I thought. So uh, he said the same thing. I got a couple and kind of follow this all the way in. And then there's another round in about way. And I'm like, yeah, I'm looking at two routes. I keep coming up my phone. It's a mess. But he's, I'm going the right way for right now. So, all right, guys, just took a little break. I'm uh, six and a half miles in, uh, plus the two I did this morning. So, eight and a half miles on the old feet today. Um, Google Maps is just, it's, I don't understand what it's doing. It looks like it was going to take me down. Then I was going to go all the way back up to six and a half miles to Prim and come around. So I just turned it off. It was killing my battery. I already had to break out my battery bank and plug it into my phone as I'm walking now. So I'm just going to use my Gi app and uh, just piece together uh, dirt roads and trails or whatever and get to this uh, gas station. There's a shell station coming up uh, just where uh, Mike told me it would be. All right, guys, it's at 3 o'clock. I'm uh, almost 8 miles in, so 10 for the day. Um... I had to make my first hard choice here looking at my app at the map and uh, I think this is going to add like 15-20 miles onto my trip just to get to the first gas station but I just didn't know where that went into the mountains because my, my map doesn't really show anything it kind of just stops there so I broke off on the road and my location beacon is like jumping all over the place. I don't, I don't know what's going on, on my phone or my GPS or whatever. But I'm just going to, uh, I'm committed now. I just, I got tired of going back and forth. I'd walk 10 steps, come back. I just committed. And uh, I'm heading this way now. All right, it's 350 guys. Uh, 13 miles total for the day. Or I'm a little, I'm sorry, a little over 12 and a half. I don't want to cheat. I came from there. It's so funny in the desert, everything, you can see it, but it's so far away. Um, I only drank not even a full liter of water. And I put on, uh, what, a little over 10 miles out here this afternoon. The other two miles came from early this morning. So I'll finish this up. And then I have a little uh, rapid rehydration Gatorade I'll sip on tonight. So tomorrow I'll start off with uh, three and a half liters of fluid. Um, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Although not drinking today, I'll probably pay for it tomorrow, but you can't have everything when you're trying to have a little water discipline. Oh, I just probably broke something in my pack sitting on it. Ah, good day. I got to go down through the mountains and then come back over to the 15, but I still have, uh, I haven't looked at it, but I still have at least 20 miles to go to get to that gas station. So the more fluids I can keep, the better. Well, just looking at the map, the route I got to go, I got uh, about 18 miles to go this way, give or take. And then I'm going to have to cut up another 18 miles to get to the Shell Station. So we'll just call it 40 miles. So I have 40 miles to go and I have three full, I got three and a half liters of water. So I just drank that little thing down. It just went so quick. Um... So that's going to be an issue. So I'm going to have two for tomorrow. I'm going to have to push it as much as I can with two liters. I'm going to have to get a big day in tomorrow. I definitely have a blister coming in on my left foot now, too. I started noticing. Um, yeah. And this is just to get to that first gas station. I thought I only had 50. See, I, I should have stuck with the track that Google Maps or whatever I had because it had me getting a baker in 50 miles and now all i'm getting out of 50 miles is to this first gas station which is nowhere near baker <laughs> uh so i'm in a mess maybe i should backtrack tomorrow and no i'm not going to do that because that just sucks i'm going to keep plugging forward and just deal with it as it comes all right guys good morning or i should say good afternoon um it's monday january 24th it's 11 30 and I'm literally just stepped off 0 0.06 miles. Um, I was up early. Uh, I've just been messing around, having a good time dancing and getting some vitamin D on my uh, shirtless fatness. Um, ate a little breakfast, you know, did the usual. Probably drank way more than I should, but I'm still stepping off basically the same amount. I probably put a half liter down this morning. But I'm trying to sit from like all, all my different bottles, like it makes a difference. <laughs> All right, I'm uh, 
2.10 miles in and it looks like I'm approaching a hardtop road. That's where all this traffic has been coming. There's like a camp of some sort up there, some kind of operation. And a lot of vehicles going down towards that, which you probably can't really see on my phone. So <clears throat> but there's a building here. I'm hoping I can grab some fluid. I know I could sit on this road and hold my sign out. But it's too early in the day. I need to get miles. Because if that doesn't work out, then I'm just I'm behind the curve. I gotta figure out where I'm going up here too. I think I'm turning. I meant to give an update on my uh, power. I killed my one power block, so I'm down to one full power block left. My phone's like 80, but I'll be using that today, obviously, listening to stuff. Um, did some foot maintenance this morning, too. Put some fresh tape on some new blisters and hot spots. Uh, the one nasty one on my right foot's healing up nicely. Uh, that's about it. The car passing. I could definitely probably give you uh, some wood if I sit here. No cell phone service, no fuel service has been preserved. This is the Mojave Desert uh, Preserve. Uh, Mike told me I need to make a right on Nipton Road and head up that way, basically to get the power line road. So I think that's what I was going to do. I was just checking down here to see if I can add water here, but nope. Uh, all right, so I'm heading up here, basically back to the freeway. So I basically just did like a seven-mile loop extra. <laughs> But uh, it looks like this might get me there a little quicker than what I was, what I had mapped out after I took that wrong turn. So, and there's a bunch of stuff going on up here. So maybe I can grab some water. I'm still hoping somebody stops. Let's drive them by. It'd be nice. All right, it's 115, guys. At least 50 vehicles have passed me, but no one stopped and uh, asked if I'm okay. <laughs> um. I'm almost five miles in. It's so hot on this asphalt. I'm drinking way more fluid than I wanted to. Um, all the properties are up here. There's like three or four of them. They just look like junkyards, but they're all gated off with chains and no trespassing signs. So I'm not about to try to go over or around the gate in the, one of these trailers. So... I made like the hand sign asking for water for a couple of vehicles, but no dice. We struck gold, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, Jeep was coming over from South Dakota as I seen as they left. And they were slowing down. So even before I put my hand up to make the drink sign, I knew they were going to stop. And they passed me, pulled over. I got a gallon of water and a V8. So I'm going to pound some of my uh, rapid rehydration. I'm going to leave here with uh, four full liters. Right when I'm getting ready to bank off, I was actually thinking about pulling out my sign here. And it just worked out perfectly. The trail provides, see? So now the whole thing on me spinning around in circles, excuse me, just pounded that Gatorade. Doesn't make a big deal. I'm gonna drink a liter. I'm gonna make sure I leave here with uh, four full liters. Because right up here, I'm making it coming up on the power lines. Every four to 15, I'm gonna make a left and cut over. Yes, and I got a V8. Oh, my favorite. They were offering me food and everything. I said, I'm good on everything. I just, the fluids were perfect. At first, the heater wasn't sure if he had one. He's away from this. I think we have a gallon hidden in the... So we dug through everything, handed me that. It was so awesome. They didn't want to be on video. They were gone within like... It was like a less than a minute. So awesome. So happy right now. I was getting discouraged. Too. Everyone was just blown by me. So happy. It's funny. When the guy pulled over and got out, I kept asking. I was like, hey, can I uh, buy some water off you? He's like, what do you need? I'm like, water? He's like, I'm, I'm sorry, what? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, water. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need something to drink right now. Um, the gallon jug and markers had sink written on it, so I'm assuming maybe, I mean, maybe they were drinking, but not a lot of people besides, well, they're old timers, they probably drink out of the sink, I know I do, but maybe it was there for a car overheating or whatever, so I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna hit it with some aqua mirror, just, just as a fail safe, just in case, I don't know, uh, you know, where they got it from and whatnot, so I'm sitting here eating, rehydrating, I'm gonna leave here with, that. Uh, four and a half liters of water so awesome oh man that v8 was delicious so i ate some crackers with it so i just put a quick ab out 500 calories in me i feel good um the best part of getting these fluids like i said now i have about four and a half liters is uh well now i don't have to push big miles today because my my heel is just dying from walking on this asphalt for this uh, six miles just Plus I got a new, new blister forming somewhere on another toe. 
I should have just taped up all my toes like I used to in the beginning of my hike. I really thought I was beyond that blister phase. But since I'm walking completely different because of my heel, obviously I'm rubbing stuff different ways now. So I stole away down there on how well you guys can see it. And then I went up. I should have stayed straight and I would have been here yesterday, but then I would have missed this water cache. But I probably would have been at the gas station quicker. Well, I know I would have, so it probably would have evened out. So I came down, I went down, over, and then back up. So I did about, it's going to be around 15 miles that I didn't have to do just to get back to this point. All right, guys, it's 3 o'clock. You can see Interstate 15 over there. The power lines in the road I was on ended up linking up. Uh, Mike sent me a picture, like, with a line drawn. basically paralleling 15. I'm going to pass some private property, said we'll have to skirt skirt around it said it shouldn't be a problem um i'm not gonna lie after i got that water i just i was done walking in this soft sand with that head with this heavy pack now with that four and a half liters it just wasn't happening so i'm done i'm calling it just shy of eight miles um i gotta leave earlier in the morning i can't wait till noon to leave and step off in the heat of the day um so like it's like ended up being like a wash like i mean the water is definitely needed but if i would have just stayed on this path yesterday I would be much further along today as opposed to doing them eight miles to get to here. I'd have been almost eight miles further ahead because if I would have went, kept going straight yesterday, I would have been right around where I broke off just now. So um, it puts me back. I'm, I'm good. I'm good on I should be good on water. Um, I might not make the gas station tomorrow either. It might not be till Wednesday, but it should be at least early Wednesday. So I almost drank a whole liter of water since I left that, since I got the water and I started walking. I almost drank a whole liter. So that's going to be going in a second. That'll leave me with that three and a half. I'll probably drink one more tonight because what I drink today benefits me tomorrow. And then I got to leave early tomorrow. So if I drink one more. Let's see. Ah. All right. Looking at my map and uh, texting back and forth with Mike. Like Mike, if you see this, thank you very much. You've been an incredible help with that information for uh, getting through this part. Um, looks like I got about another two and a half miles to go till I get to like a, a washout area. I'll be able to cross under, get to the opposite side of the 15. And it looks like I got about uh, like 15 miles or so to get to the gas station. So it probably won't be tomorrow, but I should at least, if, even if I do 10 tomorrow, then five, I should be able to get there early enough Wednesday to where my my fluids shouldn't be an issue so that's that's good news i don't know if you guys can see it but i think they've got some donkeys over there i was seeing scat all around yep look at them jumping on top of one another ah. i don't know if that's coming up on my phone at all i can't see because of the glare hey you should be able to see them All right, guys, meant to get a shot from the outside, but uh, hopefully I remember in the morning. She's put sloppily here in this wash, so hopefully no rainstorms come anywhere near the area. I don't get washed away here. Uh, according to the, um, the park ranger I ran across yesterday, I don't think you're not allowed to be hiking here within a certain area of the 15 as you cross these mounds, but he even said, he's like, ah, you know, you're not supposed to, who cares, but. So hopefully I don't have any issues. We'll see. I'm all set up. I put everything inside. I usually leave my hiking pole out here. It's like my defense weapon, but with them at donkeys or burrows or whatever they are, yeah. same thing basically. Smaller, I guess, longer hair burrows. Um, they're like goats. They'll eat everything. And Mike's like, make sure you've got all your stuff in your tent. So uh, I know like deer and the horses, they like the hiking poles because all your salt sweating off your hands on the, uh, the handle. So I put it inside here. That's it. I'm going to uh, lay down. Probably not listening to much on my phone. She's only at a 65%. I don't want to tap in that other battery yet. Hopefully I can get some solar tomorrow. But I'd like to be on the road tomorrow before 10. But I got to get some solar in the morning. We'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. Ah, all right. It's uh, 3.40 in the morning, guys. On, uh, what's it, Tuesday? I've been up since uh, 11. I don't know. I slept from uh, 6 to 11, I guess. Or around 6 o'clock. Anyway. I'm going through way too much power tonight and I ate so much food. <sighs> it's just one of them nights. I don't know. So 
I figured I'd check in. All right, guys, good morning. It's uh, almost seven. Um, I'm going to just wait here until the sun pops out because she's windy out. She got windy uh, right around when I fought, started to fall asleep again around 430. And that looks like it's going to get increasingly windy all day. So by uh, late this afternoon when I'm setting up the tent around 4 or 5, it's going to be around 20 mile an hour. It shouldn't be as bad as the other night, but we'll see. All right, 9 o'clock, guys. I just have, I'm like, all right, I got to get out of here. The sun's not um, my sun must not be coming out even though I kept checking the weather on my phone and it's telling me it's fully sunny out so I poke my head out and it's like beautiful everywhere <laughs> except right where I put the tent at so um, I'm going to get out here it's so windy already I, I hate the wind I, I mean I don't want to say it. I just hate the wind alright guys it's 11 o'clock Tuesday January 25th and I'm just leaving my camping spot now really dragging today I mean, i'm still an hour earlier than i was yesterday but i'm really dragging i drank a half a liter already so more than i should have um that water that was colored funny yesterday i poured half of it into another bottle and put a gatorade in it but uh, the, the, the one that i left water has all kinds of like brown flakes and specks in it now and it's it almost looks like a greenish brown now um i'm gonna drink it i treated it with aquamira so I'm gonna drink it. I guess maybe I dropped something in it, or I had something in the lid. Something got in it. I'm assuming. Well, it looks like that's the uh, the washout I was talking about right there. Even Mike said it was supposed to be like three miles up. I mean, that was literally not even uh, four tenths of a mile up. But look at this little red Gatorade on the ground. Doesn't look that old. Do I drink it? I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. Well, I didn't drink it. Uh, it just had a funny smell to it, so I left it where it laid. I don't. This. I didn't think I was supposed to hit this for a while. Up well, twelve o'clock. I'm two miles in. I'm all cut up from walking through uh, thorns and cactus. I believe that's the wash I was supposed to come out of. I'm supposed to find some type of road, so I came up higher because. This is just not working, and I, there's a road right there. So I'm working my way over to that. <sighs> oh, elevation and thorns, fun. Oh, it looks like I pulled up on this mining operation that Mike was talking about. It looks like I'm kind of trapped in here now. It looks like it's gates closed and locked. So I'm gonna have to, this could be an issue. On a positive note, maybe I can grab some water too while I'm here. But I gotta try to get out of here first of all. Oh, fingers crossed, I don't want any issues. Somebody trying to tell me I gotta turn back. Alright, guys, well, that didn't work out well. I uh, literally was on the other side of the barbed wire for about six seconds and three trucks pulled up. <laughs> so. That's a federal mine. Um, one, I said, I said oh, I'm just trying to get north. I got to get, well, like, like the next mile they said is federal mine property. And you're not allowed to be on it. I said, well, is there any way I can purchase some water or get to a, fa a faucet? We're not allowed to give water to anybody. So, so much for that. Meanwhile, the guy had about seven bottles of water in his truck right there around him. We're not allowed to give water to anybody. This is a federal installment. Uh, so I don't know if the road I was supposed to be on was supposed to go on the other side of this mine or this. I, I have no clue where I'm at. I'm getting frustrated because I just don't have the equipment or not the equipment, but, you know, the uh, food and water to be messing around out here, like getting lost. Look at that. That's, I'm not going to mess around here. It's probably still part of their property. Although I'm on the other side. Um, I just don't know where I'm supposed to go. It's like, get back to the 15 and cross to the other side. I was like, I can't go back the way I just came. I'm going to, I'll die. I said, I'll, I mean, I was being dramatic. I mean, I might, I could. I'm definitely going to be out of fluid. I drank a full liter already today and some. Um, going up and down them hills just killed me. So I really don't know what I'm supposed to do now. So I'm just going to try to get to the 15 here. And uh, 
skirt it or walk on it, whatever I got to do to get past this mine facility and then get back on the land. All right, well, I followed the fence line all the way out. And of course their property fence line reaches it. And there's two trucks parked there, probably the same ones that told me to go around. So I'm just stuck. So I climbed through here in this st uh, storm drain. And uh, just gonna get to the highway, I guess, and walk it. I'm not sure yet. I'm frustrated. Call yeah, call the cops. I'm lost. I need assistance. Like, I haven't had a problem in over 4,000 miles. I have a problem in the middle of the desert. All right, Route 15 is literally right here. I'm on the opposite side of the barbed wire where you really don't want to be. This is a low storm drain. Hunched over. Mike said that there's no point in me crossing the other side because they own the other side too. So somehow I just got to get around this or through it. I'm not worried like if the highway patrol or someone comes up to you, you know, why don't you explain what's going on? I'll probably give me a ride to the uh, Clima Road where the gas station's at. That was a lot of fun. That's some thick thorns. Look at this and I'm in. Sleeping's gonna be an issue tonight. Don't know how long this is gonna last for before a cop pulls up. I mean, I'm literally basically walking the shoulder of a major interstate. Once I'm past this mine, like another mile, at least what I think is the mine, with that stuff I'm going to try to get in as soon as I can hopefully there's another like when there's a little uh, drainage ditch it dips lower than the, bar the barbed wire so I can squeeze under that's the plan well I'm back on this side of the fence but of course as soon as I cut back in on this side what happened I literally was 20 yards from another one white truck with a big orange safety flag so, definitely see me. Didn't say anything to me. I just kept my eyes down and kept plowing forward. Um, I'm on this old little road here. But uh, I have no clue if I'm on. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going forward until they tell me otherwise. If I get caught again by these security guards on the side, then you know they're going to call the cops. But I'm not trying to the guy told me I got to go down like a mile, he said. Like, I mean, he said a mile, but I'm sure he doesn't know the actual length of the property. I went down two and a half miles. And I would assume that's the mine. I don't know what this is. I'm surprised I was able to walk on the side of the highway that long without cops coming. All right, guys, it's 20 after 3. I'm only going eight and a half miles today, and uh, I'm struggling, so I may have another mile in me. Um, looking at my map, like there's a little piece of private land here, so I'm trying to go another mile to where at least I'm on some BLM land. And I'm going to set up and uh, probably allow myself to drink this half a liter. So I'm starting off tomorrow with a half liter. I gotta get moving early tomorrow. Can't be messing around. All right, 4.30 guys. Um, Pretty much, I think like right after I made that latest video and I said I'm gonna go another mile, I went about six feet and came down. So I, I a little short of nine miles today. Um, it wasn't even the heel today. It was more my my neck, my back, and my left arm, blah, blah, blah. It is what it is when you're on your hike. And I'm, I'm embarrassed that the miles are getting lower and lower. And I need them to get higher and higher so I can, you know, uh, I'm making this, these stretches way more complicated than they have to be without water because it's taken me, instead of two days, like, 
that ga from prim to this gas station should have been two day hike and it's gonna take me four. Well, it's impossible to keep enough water doing like that. But anyway, it's pretty windy out. I just have uh, this side against the wind and I just have it flat down and it blocks more wind when I do that as opposed to having it stretched out. Um, and then this side I have, you know, stretched out like normal, but uh, get my blow up mat in there, get that blown up and then I'm gonna be set up for the night. It's, it's getting chilly tonight. All right, it's 3.50 a.m., guys, and it got cold. I had to bust out the puffy and make sure I'm actually tucked into my thing here. It's uh, it's like 25 degrees out right now, it's saying. Oh, I'm having trouble sleeping again. Um, I was just trying to book an Airbnb for Baker because there's no hotels. And uh, just to get off the road for a couple days, and I got to get everything charged because my batteries are... Anyway... The course is giving me problems. I got to take a picture of my ID and then got to verify it, and which is going to be an issue, I think, because my ID is expired. So I don't know how how much they're going to look at it, or if they're literally just going to look at my picture. But then they want a picture of myself, too, and my front of my screen, the way it's setting the camera up is shattered, so it doesn't take good pictures. So it's going to be a problem. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this Airbnb. It's always something, right? All right, guys, it's 7 o'clock, uh, Wednesday, January 26th, I believe. Um, I've been up since about 3, 3.30. I think I made a video earlier. Oh, excuse me. It's just too cold out there. I went out there to uh, do my morning chores, and uh, it's just too windy and cold. So I should be on the road right now, but I'm not. It's just I'm going to wait till the sun at least comes out a little bit. Uh, the Airbnb is a no-go. It just wouldn't accept my ID. Obviously, it's expired. So I'll have to wait the bar stow to get a room and I, I just have to get some power at this gas station and get some power in Baker. I mean, I'll get it figured out one way or another, but. All right, guys, it's 10 after nine. I just had a little temper tantrum. I'm just, I'm like, uh, I don't know what the word is. You know, light footing it. I don't want to say what I want to say. But you know, I'm just kind of like, eh. And I keep stepping on these, you know, medium sized rocks and I'm twisting my ankle. So I just threw a little temper tantrum. Anyway, I thought I'd include that in here. It's just cold and windy. Um, it says it's uh, feels like it's 26 out with the wind chill, so I believe it. Cause look, I, I mean, I had to put something on. I didn't want to. I had to bust up the puffy last night, uh, so I put the rain gear on as opposed to putting on some wool layers, just cause this cuts the wind better. Like my feet are cold. So these shoes just with the wind. Feels like I'm back in Colorado, except uh, I was adapted to it, and it's. I know this is gonna sound stupid, probably, but it's like my body. I went to bed warm, you know what I mean? I woke up cold. It was, it's, when I go to bed cold and wake up cold, it's not as a shock. I don't know if that makes any sense or if I'm just really not feeling it today, so I'm letting all this get to me. But it feels like it's affecting me more like the cold because, well, I wasn't expecting it. All right, guys, finally on the move. I, of course, I tested this yesterday just to make sure. I told me I'd get lucky and water would come shooting out. Um, it's five after 10, just starting finally got on the move i uh i know i said it before but i'm gonna say it again i i hate wind above and beyond above, above and beyond everything else give me rain give me snow give me cold it's the wind that makes everything so much more difficult out here i had to chase my tent twice and then of course i dumped my like accessory bag and it's just wind is a pain plus it makes you colder obviously um it wasn't even supposed to be windy today it never got as windy as it was supposed to yesterday. It feels like it's doing it today, but it's supposed to be light winds, it said today, for, uh, you know, seven miles an hour. It's much more than that. All right, guys, it's at 10 after 11. I just had to take the rain gear off. Even though I still need it with the wind, it's just getting too warm. So I meant to put my booty cover on, too. Uh, um, I'm uh, moving extremely slow. Almost three miles in. I think I only got... Uh, Another three miles to go. I think that's pretty much it down there. At least that's what it looks like because there's nothing after that. So pretty sure the gas station is what I've been looking at. So it's coming up. So it ended up only being around five or six miles from my camp, which wasn't bad, which means I could have got there yesterday, you know, if I had to. All right, Interstate 15. Now I just gotta hope and this is still open. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be something if it was closed? Oh. I don't know why 
I put them negative thoughts in there. Oh, it ended up being at just shy of six miles. I actually turned my watch off at like five and a half. So probably right around six miles from where I was at. And this was the area I was looking at. Like as soon as I got up on that hill this morning, I could see it. That's the desert for you. All right, it's a huge store and I got in there and I got scared. First of all, I just spent $80 and I literally got nothing. But uh, I didn't, they only had like one little cooler with water. I'm like, that's all they got? So no Gatorades or not. So I had to buy these three probably crazy expensive core waters. Orange juice. I got four Cliff Bars, which is, I'm out of food. So these are literally just snacks for the next four days. I'm, grabbing, I'm gonna leave here four days of food. Got myself a ham sandwich, a Red Bull, and then my nasty chewing tobacco. But that's 80 bucks. That's outrageous, but I don't even care because this is a blessing. So I'm gonna sit here and uh, hopefully this outlet works and hopefully I can stay here for a couple of hours and it won't bother me. So, all right, well, so much for getting excited. No outlets, they're plugged, so that's a no-go. Yeah, there's a piece of plastic that's broken off and all of them. Man, I got all excited. This would have been the perfect stop, but oh well. Gotta go without electricity, gotta go without electricity. It is what it is. I got fluids. All right, guys, three o'clock. I'm uh, leaving the gas station. Um, I don't know if I told you guys earlier, but the, uh, the electrical outlet outside wasn't, uh, was blocked off. I did, I, I know I mentioned that, but uh, I went back inside and uh, offered one of the uh, cashiers. I said, yo, brother, we started talking about what I was doing. Anyway, I offered him 20 bucks to plug in my uh, power bank for uh, two hours. And he said, no problem. So I got about two hours of juice on it. Um, the second dot was probably getting ready to go. So I'm up to three dots now. I don't know how much juice that got. So I probably, I went from having one, one and a half to uh, probably two and a half charges left on that now. So that's good. I got some solar on my phone. So my phone's at 70 now. Got my watch back up to a half. I don't want to be an ass and be like, here, can you charge two power blocks and my watch? Although he probably wouldn't care. What's the really difference? He's just plugging it in. But uh, I don't want to be greedy or anything. So I'm very happy with that. I um, had a sandwich a Red Bull, an orange juice. Ended up being like, uh, had everything said and done like a 200 hour stop. Um, they didn't have much for food, so I got a bunch of like, I think I got like four perfect cookies, four Cliff Bars. I haven't had any of them perfect cookies. I had them years ago, but it's 400 calories a cookie, so it's good. Um, four cookies, four Cliff Bars, uh, four different variant things of candy, two packs of gum, and, uh, a bag of jerky so I'm good plus with the couple of things I have so I definitely have I got a solid three days of food uh, probably four if I need to so I'm fine to get the baker baker should take me three days um, I have five liters of fluid on me now I'll probably drink one tonight and one in the morning I gotta walk right past here to get I'm basically gonna be walking that power line straight down that's according to Mike, so in the morning I'll stop back there, re-top off my fluids, I'll grab a, a banana and an orange from there also, that'll probably be my breakfast, Red Bull of course, and then I'll hit the road. Oh, I grabbed a couple of five-hour energies also, just two of them, two packs of gum, I think I said that, but look at all them people in traffic, well not that bad traffic, but still there's a lot of people out right now for three o'clock on the 15th. Everybody's going about their lives to and from how many people? What, 70, probably 80, maybe 90% of people don't enjoy their job. They're doing it because, well, you have to. It's called being an adult, raising a family, supporting everybody. So even when I hate it out here, it's like I've told you guys before, uh, hiking, uh, it's not, uh, I don't find it all that fun. I like the adventure. Um, I like doing something positive. I like challenging myself. That's what this whole point was, was to challenge myself. Because I was so stagnant for about 10 years of my life. Just miserable. Oh, I have PTSD. Oh, I'm depressed. And you fall into that bubble. I don't know why I'm just getting all uh, whatever. Just thinking about it. You know, these people are out working. They're, that's the real challenge in life. Doing something you have to do every day. You know, barely getting to see your family. I mean, you know, when I was growing up, 
My dad was a cop at a couple different departments before he became a fireman, but he also ran a cleaning business. Like, And then later in life, he was a security guard and a fireman. So basically what I'm saying is he worked two full-time jobs his whole life until, what am I, I'm 42, so he's 62. I think he worked two full-time jobs until he was like 50, 58, 56, 58. And then uh, worked just fire department until uh, I think like last year he retired at 61. All right, guys, it's 4.51, and uh, I got her all set up. I'm ready to uh, hit the rack. Hopefully, I can uh, maybe stay awake for a couple hours. I'd like to be able to get back to my normal routine where I wake up every hour, but at least I can basically sleep through the night. I've been uh, getting up in the middle of the night the last couple of nights. It's just been well, not miserable. I'm, I don't want to be dramatic, but it's not ideal. Um, that's it. Beautiful area. All right, good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, January 27th. It's uh, 7.30. Um, I'm just laying here because it's cold. It's at uh, 26 degrees out right now, so it's a cold night. I had to put the puffy coat on again. I was getting greedy. I was getting spoiled, I should say, without putting that on for a little while. So, uh, but still, I don't have any wool bottoms on or anything, so I guess it ain't that bad. It's definitely not Colorado cold or even Utah cold. And ever since I went to just leaving this open, like using it as a quilt, I always thought when it got real cold that I would have to put it in bag mode. I think this is much warmer. Although I do get some cold spots once in a while, like whatever way I'm facing on my side, like my backside somewhere. So I have to make sure from me turning that it's, you know, it's all the way down to the ground. But otherwise, I feel, I feel like this is much better. I get a little pocket. I close it out the bottom for my feet and I jam my feet in it and then I just leave it open all around me. And, uh... I'd like it much better. I think it's warmer because it makes sense because all that down that you're laying on is worthless. It's compressed. So if I keep all this on top of me fluffy, it's going to, I think, I mean, I think it makes sense. I think I should have been doing that the whole time. I don't know. I know I didn't see that anywhere. I just figured it's super cold. So I need to put this in sleeping bag mode. It would make sense, right? Like a tighter cocoon, but I, I don't think it's the case. I'm telling you, I, I, I think this is warmer. Well, it's colder out this morning than it was yesterday, but there's no wind right now, which is supposed to stay like that all day until, or at least for the next couple of hours. But uh, later tonight, like this evening, when I'll be setting up my tent, we're going to have 20 mile an hour winds again, they're calling for. So we'll see how that works out. It's always fun. But at least it'll be warming up by then. Um, oh man, my feet are so sore today. I got some new blisters. I was feeling them this morning. I'm like, man. So I got to take care of that this morning when I get back in the tent. It's always hobbling around so slow in the morning before this heel ah, it gives me a little. It's funny. You think I would learn my lesson from that, uh, well, specifically fighting a war in the desert. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a, yeah, you can, uh, yeah, you can see there's like a little right there. Well, now you can see my finger, but right back there, it's a bunch of uh, cars, buildings. I had no clue that was there yesterday. None. I can see it. Not clear as day. I mean, that's, that's almost, that's probably four miles away. Um, but still, three and a half, four miles away. It's hard to judge distance in the desert, but um, that hill helps. The size of the cars on the highway help because I know the distance of the highway pretty much is about a mile and a half from where I'm at. Um, I actually won my gold medal uh, in shooting not too far from here when we were, when we were in Vegas, Boulder, uh, Boulder, Nevada, Boulder City. Won my first gold medal from uh, on the shooting team. But anyway... It's funny, I had no clue that was there, man. You, you're literally hidden in the desert just so easily with the position of the sun. So they probably could have seen me clearly yesterday if they were looking. And I had no clue they were there. If anyone's even there, it could just be a, a, you know, a yard full of vehicles or who knows what it is. But I had never even seen it. That's just, I need to pay better attention. All right, guys, it's 1130 on Thursday, January 27th. Just leaving the, uh, the gas station here. If you happen to be hiking through the area, not a whole lot of selection for food and stuff there, but they got a lot of different kinds of beef jerky over 30 different kinds. Um, anyway, I topped off, just drank a Red Bull and forced a liter of Gatorade down my throat. My stomach's been a little upset since that. Uh, I don't know if it was that funky water I was drinking yesterday. It was all brown and green. Or if it was that old nasty ham and cheese sandwich, but... 
I've been having some stomach issues. <laughs> um, I've restocked up on everything, hand sanitizer, grabbed some more time and all. All the little nonsense. I actually bought a sewing kit that came with a little pair of scissors. I threw out the sewing kit, just kept the little scissors so I could, my beard's growing crazy longer on the one side of my chin than the other. I just trimmed that up a little bit. Um, that's about it. I did some foot maintenance this morning. I actually took out the two uh, heel pads I had because my feet are getting all kinds of blisters now on the toes. I had to retape on my, especially my left foot. My right foot, just that one spot. My left foot, my toes. So obviously I'm walking different, but I'm also, I also have different insoles and I've been trying different things. Um, so I swapped out the heel pads, just kept the insoles in. Uh, what else? Um, I'm on my last pair of clean socks on my feet right now. A pair that I wore on my feet and then uh, on the outs is a secondary pair. I got them in my pack because I wear two pairs. So I got rid of a lot of socks after I Utah because the weather was changing. But after like four or five days, man, especially out here in the sand, it's the, the, the darn tufts become like real stiff. Not that comfortable. So I like the feel of a new pair. I could, well, I should have washed a pair in the bathroom yesterday. I wasn't thinking about it. But I have a... Uh, one, two, I have four, uh, three liters of Gatorade. I have a liter of water. And then I have two, like, 21-ounce bottles of uh, kind of like Pedialyte. It's called Electrolyte or something. But I actually found Pedialyte in there, too, but I already bought these. They're skinnier bottles. They would have fit in my pack better. But they're only, like, 16 ounces. But still, they would have been a little better. Um, they got more potassium and magnesium and stuff in them than this stuff. Way better than Gatorade, the Pedialyte is. But I didn't see it until it was too late. So what I'm basically, I have uh, five and a half liters. And, you know, people say, "Oh, you should, uh, you know, you should um, just pack more water." I don't think people realize how heavy a liter of water is. It's like 2.2 pounds. So, you know, I got six bottles, six liters, and they're basically six liters, five and a half for real, or a little more than five and a half. But, um, you know, that's almost 13 pounds. It's a lot of uh, poundage to be adding. <laughs> And uh, it doesn't feel that heavy now, of course, because I just stepped off, you know, 20 feet. But it's going to add up quick. And then the, head, and the more I have in there, like I said, then you feel I'm, I feel like I drink more just because my pack's heavier and I'm working harder. That's a fine balance. But uh, this is going to be about, I think this is it. I'm turning down here. doesn't really matter. I know I'm heading west. I'm um, keeping the 15 parallel to it. So if this ain't the road, it'll turn into a road. Um, what was I going to say? So I have about, I broke it all down uh, map-wise. Uh, we're basically going straight as possible. I mean, I did 15 curves a little, but we're looking at like 34, 30, 33, 34 miles to the next town. So I figure 10 today, 10 tomorrow. If I do two liters a day, you know, that'll kill my side pockets and I'll still have... Uh, for that last day, which I still got to walk, you know, 10 miles. But it's just a little different when you know you're getting into a town. Uh, you know what I mean? At least mentally with me. So if I can just keep, realistically, I'll probably drink more than two. Hopefully today I only drink one because I'm hydrated leaving. So that would be perfect. Then it sets me up nice. But say I drink two today and I could drink two and a half the next day. And, you know, and I still have, what, one left. So, you know. That, that's actually ideal. If I just wake up, even if I only have that one 21 ounce or 23 ounce bottle of uh, electrolyte or whatever it is, if I just have that on the last day, which will be uh, Saturday morning, I'll be okay. Because I know I'm, I'm walking, I'm gonna be in a town soon. So mentally I'll be okay. I would already crossed under some barbed wire, but that one wasn't big because it had no barbs in the bottom layer. And I'm off, like I said, there's a house coming up right here on the right. I think after I pass that, there's going to be another place up here, but everything's on to my right. It's going to be like a, a property or whatever. I should be, I should knock on wood, just be cruising on a dirt track or power lines or something like that the whole way to Baker. I definitely don't have to cross the uh, highway at all, at least by what I see on my map and from what uh, I like Mike Hyken told me. Or I could just call him Mike like a normal person. <laughs> I think it's all more uh, donkey. Donkey scat. I haven't seen any more since that day, but I've seen plenty of the scat. 
All right, on the move. I like this. I hope it stays like this because you can a tent blends in with that a lot better. And you got these little. I'm not sure they're not cactus, but they're. Uh, I don't know what they are, but they're like cactus. They're super sharp. Like you can uh, take the tip off of that and then use the threads of the actual the vine that it's on to sew it. I brushed up against one. It's not fun. All right, guys. One o'clock, and it's been this uh, like soft sand track that I've been on. Um, I'm uh, 4.12 miles in and try to make it to five miles before I drop this pack because, oh boy, that's, uh, the liquid is heavy. And I feel it. I got some snow capped mountains over there in uh, California. I believe that's snow. So I'm just catching an angle with the different. Uh, I keep forgetting I'm in California because it's got like a Nevada vibe, but. It's like Camp Pendleton. It's definitely, you know, 29 Palms. Plenty of that uh, desert in California, if people don't know. I mean, California's got it all, from, from woods to beachfront to desert, everything. And not too long from now, I'll be walking through cities again. Um, it's like 140 or something. I don't know if I said that right now. I'm just taking a little break right here, grabbing some solar. I'm drinking a little more fluid than I thought I would. Uh, the wind's picking up. It's supposed to pick up more here in the next couple of hours. And then, uh, but I still haven't killed a liter yet of water, jumping back to that. So I'm sitting okay and I'm carrying the uh, six liters okay, actually. Um, yeah, the arms start to hurt there for the last uh, about mile. But I'm five miles in now. So I'd like to get a, something going on the bottom of my front foot now. Where I taped it up at on my pinky toe has a blister on the bottom. So where the tape's like bunched up, I can feel that. But now I feel like I got a blister or something coming on the ball of my foot. Or it might just be the pain from like where that tape is on the blister on the bottom. But I'm doing okay for uh, this. I'm happy where I'm at. I'd like to... Oh, I gotta chill with the drinking. I'm gonna to start tomorrow off and be okay. I mean, like I said, I, if I just drink two liters a day, I'm still okay. All right, 2.45, guys. I'm at 7.86 miles in. Just empty out here. It's funny. You know, you get lost. Or, oh, I'll follow some power lines. I'll go with uh, some, you know, I'll come to something eventually. Well, not so far in uh, eight miles. But there has been footprints. Relatively fresh. Power lines are down somewhere or other. That was cut down though. The other one looked like it came down and shattered. This one was cut. Um, I meant to mention this earlier. I don't think I did. The area that I'm in now, this is the Mojave Desert Preserve. And then like deep in there, deeper into it, like where the mountains are at is the Mojave Desert Wilderness. So, just in case anyone was curious. All right, guys, it's 15. Just broke off the trail a little bit and came right here. I'm gonna set up my tent right in that little spot. This is super soft. It's like sandy, gravelly, but super soft. Um, wind's picking up. I did at nine and a half miles actual forward progress, plus a mile and a half you know, to get to the gas station where I was camping. So about average day, what I've been doing. Um, I wanted to keep going until I seen these footprints in, but I'm still walking. Somebody recently has walked both directions. So you can see them footprints there. These are going this way, or that one's going that way. So I can't tell if it's a coyote running this. The scat looks like coyote. I haven't seen any dog poop, but, uh, or if this guy had a dog with him. It's just weird. I mean, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Who's out here walking? But, you know, there's probably pull-offs and stuff people, you know, that know about that can come up here. Uh, it's beautiful to me. out, put the fleece on, get this tent set up in the wind, and uh, call it a day. Good day. I feel good. I feel good. All right, guys. It's 4.15. I got her set up. No ground sheet. It was just too windy. Um, I noticed not the, the way the tent's supposed to be set up or the wind coming in on this backside, but that's how I like it the best. Um, I sleep better like it with it that way. So I got the tarp weighed down with this pretty much dead wood, but probably not good. It's probably digging. It is digging into the tent. could rip it and all good. 
and I got the sides that are supposed to be staked out this way pulled out that way just to keep uh, some structure support on the poles. I know it's not the way it's supposed to be set up. I think you're supposed to have your feet into the wind. Um, but I like it better like this. I get less wind beating me up. Like I said, probably not great on the tent, but uh, it's 4.15. I'm, uh, I'm just going to head in. It's just uh, I'm beat actually now. And this wind is uh, getting cold real quick, so I'm going to shut up and I'll hop in the tent and I take these shoes off with my feet breathe a little bit.